By the way, they want you to replace those burlap bar stools. It seems a couple of people got rope burn. Well, now we have some sad news to report. Tonight, Hollywood mourns the death of one of its favorites. Nancy and Rob, designing women star Meshack Taylor passed away this weekend after a long battle with cancer. So today I sat down with and spoke to his longtime friend and former TV wife on Designing Women, Jack A. Harry, about this really sad loss. Georgia, Georgia. Meshack was so talented, he even sang the show's theme song during tapings. He was a sweet soul. All the designing women loved him, and today Jack A. was mourning her good friend. He, Meshack, was a gift. And um, if you never saw him, I'm sorry. You missed it. I love it when a man's first words are, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, now, actually, darling, I think what I said was, what the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> Taylor passed away Saturday at his home. He fought cancer bravely until the end at age 67. How long had he been battling cancer? He's been battling cancer two and a half years. When you heard that he did indeed pass, what did you, how did you react? Oh, no, I was okay, because I knew. You know, once you know, it's like any day now, but he still was very strong and not, uh, he, he wasn't afraid. On Designing Women, Meshack played the assistant to four sassy Southern Bell interior decorators. Originally, his role was to be short-lived. Chemistry was so good between Delta and I that uh, they really thought that maybe we'll bring him back. Suzanne, let me give you a little piece of advice, okay? Okay. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Meshack earned an Emmy nomination in 1989, and E.T. spent Emmy morning with him and his family at his secluded, woodsy Altadena, California home. It's really quiet up here. A nice uh, break from Hollywood. It was clear that family meant everything to him. This is my daughter Yasmin, and she's an African-American princess. <laughs> you want your hands? Yeah, I wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, Meshack had been in hospice care for his cancer, but he loved acting so much he continued to work. He appeared this season on Criminal Minds with his longtime friend Joe Montaigne, and you could hear in his voice how sick he was. My son Thomas and his wife live on the other side of those hills. It had worked, his treatments, and then it just stopped. He had been sick a long time, so he knew, you know, that it, um, he was in his final stages, so he knew. Jack A. last spoke to Meshack just two days before his passing. What was the conversation like? He said he was, he was getting ready to make his transition. He said, I'm passing through, baby. He was an incredible talent, and Taylor leaves behind his wife of 31 years, Bianca, four children and four grandchildren. He will be missed. We're coming right back.